Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm back and I wanted to talk to y'all about Samsung Pay, specifically on the new Gear S3 smartwatch. This bad boy right here. Boom, pow, all up in your face. Anyways, I have enjoyed using Samsung Pay ever since I had my Note 7 RIP. Watch my video on it. Um, but yeah, Samsung Pay is awesome, man. It's, uh, it's super fast. It's, to me, it's been a lot faster than using this. And I'm talking about Samsung Pay in general, whether it be on a phone or a smartwatch. But Samsung Pay, it's faster, in my opinion, than using your card, especially if you have one of those chips. If you got a chip in your card, I don't know, it takes a while to read that chip and, you know, it sometimes gets all messed up. But if you can just tap your phone on that deal and then, you know, just go through the, you got to still punch in your codes and stuff. So it's the same process. It just seems like it takes a little less time to do it. But let me tell you, on this watch, oh man, you just put your watch up there, dink, and then you go through your little pin code process and it, it just works flawlessly almost every time. I think, I don't think there's been one single time I've ever tried to use this on the watch and it didn't work, even as a standalone device. Once again, I have the LTE version, so uh, that might have a little something to do with it. I've never tried it on the, uh, on the non-LTE version. Uh, my wife has a Gear S2 and um, she tried it. My wife has a Gear S2 and she tried it uh, connected to her phone. It didn't quite work out, but then again, that's my wife's stuff. You know, my wife's stuff never works. When it comes to technology, she just breaks it. You know, <laughs> it just never works for her. So I can't really vouch for that one. We'll see how that goes on our second trial. But uh, as far as the Gear S3 smartwatch, it's been an excellent experience so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take the watch off so you can see what I'm talking about here. Bear with me. All right, as we get a closer look at the watch, once you're at your terminal and you're ready to pay, you just tap the top button and hold it, and that brings up Samsung Pay. You cannot change the dedication to that button, it's always gonna be there. And then you just hit that pay button right there, and it goes into the cycle. You got about 30 seconds to go ahead and hold your uh, watch up to the terminal, and then it just takes it, bing, and you're done. All right, now I will say this, Samsung Pay on the smartwatches does not support loyalty cards. I go to Kroger a lot, and uh, I cannot use my Kroger card there, so I still have to pull out my keys or my wallet. That's not really a big deal. Um, and it does not support the Samsung gift cards. I don't think it supports gift cards at all because I got some Barnes & Noble and some um, Starbucks and some other stuff on there that, it that will not show up on the watch. You can't even load them. But I'm pretty sure, you know, since this is a new thing, they'll go ahead and update it at some point. So stay tuned. You know Samsung is always working on their stuff. But other than that, man, it's been a very flawless experience. I've loved it on this, on this watch. I know I still need to do a full review on this watch. But honestly, at this point, with the LTE version, I feel like I can confidently leave the house without my wallet or my phone and still be connected. I've got money. I've got connectivity. I can still send, send text and I can still make phone calls. I can even shoot out an email if I want to on this thing. And uh, yeah, don't need a phone or a wallet at this point, um, except for my ID. Check it out. I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews and I'll see y'all on the next one.